Hello, with this little video I want to show you my little pedal board I built in Eurorack format. The plates are the standard Eurorack plates and I like the idea to have simple elements like LEVOs or VCAs and that you can patch them together for different effects. The first thing is a splitter. Here you can put in your guitar and it has three out individual outputs. Then we have two LEVOs, a double VCA, two independent VCA channels. This is just a red distortion. This one is an envelope follower. You can put an audio signal in and it puts out the DC voltage to control a VCA or a delay time or anything else. Then uh, here is a eight step sequencer with outputs, clock outputs from the speed it has a CV control input for the speed and a clock in where you can put in an external clock. Here you can adjust the speed. Yeah. This is a very simple delay with a CV input for the delay time. Um, that's it. This is a little bit more advanced delay. You can Turn it on and off. Here you have a mix, a feedback time. With this uh, button you can switch between this and this time setting and it makes some pitch shifting stuff. Then it also has a send and return in the delay path. So you can put in here a pitch shifter or any other effects and on every repeat it goes back through, it goes again through the inserted effect. Here's the output and finally I have a mixer where we can put in three signals so with the splitter and mixer you can run different effects in parallel so now let's listen to how the thing sounds or what you can do with it let's start with a simple tremolo effect using an lfo and uh, one channel of the vca so guitar signal goes in here, comes out, goes into the VCA, goes out of the VCA into the mixer and here it goes to the amp. And this is how the guitar sounds. Now when I put the VCA on we have a tremolo. When I we have a second LFO we can take the output from the second LFO and go to the control input of the first LFO. So this LFO is controlling the speed. Now one signal from the splitter is going into the envelope follower and the envelope follower is controlling the speed of the tremolo. Now the envelope signal can directly control the VCA and then you have a compressor. Here it sounds like normal.
envelope can also control the delay time and let's see what happens with that. The delay on itself sounds like this. Now if I turn on the envelope be controlled by an oscillator. Then we take the CV input to the oscillator output and see what happens. switched to the another wave this way so to it <laughs> The delay time can also be controlled by the sequencer and it sounds like this. Also, other instruments to interact with uh, this whole thing. For example, here I have a very stupid drum beat. Um, here it is. 
and as you can see the bass drum is controlling the elbow so if I turn it off um, nothing happens when I turn it on you can see the light blinking according to the elbow and now this thing is acting like a sidechain docking effect because uh, the envelope is controlling the VCA and it's always when the bass drum hits the guitar is going quiet it sounds like this So these are uh, some of the things you can do with it. You can patch really different stuff together. And now I am going to do a little more complicated patch and like to make like a little song um, in the end to demonstrate how things work. And I will go to explain briefly how I've set the whole thing up. Okay, now I have set up some things. The guitar is going into the splitter. It has uh, three paths through the thing. Uh, one path is going through the VCA, which is set up as a tremolo. Um, it's like this. From the tremolo it's going into a delay thing, which is controlled by LFO, so it's more like a chorus type thing. going into a delay. This delay is the normal delay. This is the normal delay and I uh, also can control the delay time with the sequencer. Also in the delay feedback path is a little pitch shifter and this sounds like this so every repeat is going through the pitch shifter again the other part is going into the reverb the reverb is going into a VCA which is controlled by the LFO. With uh, this switch I can turn the reverb on and off and the envelope is controlled by the bass drum. So when the bass drum hits the envelope and the VCA is docking the reverb. This sounds like this. VCA, which is docking the reverb signal. Then uh, the last path is going into a uh, microsynth from Electroharmonix, which is set up with like a bass, a bass sound. front of it I have a little AD switch, maybe you can see it. And uh, with this one I can switch between bass and the other thing. Okay, now I try to play improvise a little piece with the drum machine um, with some stupid beats and uh, with the whole thing demonstrating some possibilities what you can do with this stuff.